Hello everyone, всем привет, Оксана here, welcome to my channel. So today's video on Russian uh, language is going to be dedicated to Russian verbs and uh, we are going to be talking about two Russian verbs in particular and uh, why I chose them is that they uh, have uh, uh, basically um, a very um, like similar meaning but I uh, thought it will be uh, informative to you to uh, if I explain what is the difference between these two verbs and in what situation they are used. And right now I'm talking about these two verbs, which are идти and ходить. So all of them mean to go, and uh, these forms of them are the uh, dictionary form, the infinitive form, the forms uh, that are... Um, basically have to be that have to be changed when using them in the sentence according to the tense and to the person. So right now we are going to be talking about the meaning of them and we'll talk about the present tense conjugation of these two verbs and we'll see uh, how they're used in the Russian sentences depending on the context. So as I already told you, uh, Iti and hadit, uh, these two um, verbs basically mean the same thing, to go, but there is some difference between them. So, iti uh, is a verb meaning to go, but it uh, actually means uh, a, um, a one singular movement, like one um, uh, action when you go to a specific place one time. Uh, or when you are going in that particular moment. So that is like the, um, like there is a notion of right now applied to this uh, verb iti, like right now. I go right now to some place, or I, I go to this place like one time and I will not go there again. And for the second verb, hadit, it uh, basically means to go as well, but it means to either going to different places in a short period of time or when you go to a specific one specific place but you go there repeatedly like uh, going to school so that is the differentiation between these two verbs so it means uh, go some pl to some place like one time in one particular moment and hadit go to making it a uh, repeated action or go to different places. And before we look at uh, these verbs when they are used in Russian sentences, let us write down the present tense conjugation of both of these two verbs. So for the verb идти, the present tense conjugation is as follows. Я иду, я иду, I go, or I am going. Uh, ты идешь, uh, ты идешь, you go, or you are going, meaning uh, addressing a singular person in an informal way. Uh, он, она идет. Он, она идет. Uh, he or she uh, goes or going is going. Uh, мы идем. Мы идем. We go or we are going. Вы идете. Вы идете, meaning a uh, plural form of addressing a group of people or a, a polite form of addressing a single person, and. Uh, next one is они идут. Они идут. They go or they are going. And let us also look at the present tense conjugation of the verb ходить. So я хожу. Я хожу. I go. Ты ходишь. Ты ходишь. You go. Он, она ходит. Ходит. He or she goes. Uh, мы ходим. Мы ходим. Uh, we uh, go. Вы ходите, вы ходите, you go, and они ходят, uh, they go, они ходят. So naturally you have to memorize the present tense conjugation and uh, it will be um, very useful, of course, to build, to start build, building your own Russian uh, sentences. And right now, I just wanted to make it clear that I don't go uh, into past or future tense conjugation because it will be too overwhelming. And of course, uh, before you go into that um, grammar, deeper grammar uh, points, you, of course, have to start with the present tense. It's easier and it is um, um, like the basics of the uh, learning uh, process. So now uh, to better grasp the idea of how these two verbs uh, differentiate between each other, let us go uh, and look at some um, sentences uh, and use them as examples and we'll see through them uh, what is 
and the thing that makes these two verbs different. So first we have these two sentences uh, as examples that I think show very well how uh, what are the different um, meaning between these two verbs сити and ходить. So first we have сейчас я иду в магазин. Сейчас я иду в магазин. Сейчас meaning right now uh, and um, in it can be dropped uh, and just put it here so you better understand uh, the meaning, the, con uh, the context. Сейчас я иду в магазин. Я иду meaning I go. Магазин is uh, the shop. So right now I'm going to the shop. Right now I'm going to the shop or to the supermarket. So uh, what we see here, we see that here that this uh, a word right now, сейчас, actually means that you are making uh, this um, move right now and you go to a single place, which is a uh, magazine, uh, shop or uh, a supermarket, and you, uh, you go there, you make uh, some... Um, you buy something that you need and you go home and that's it. So the movement ended and uh, you don't um, make it like a um, repeated action. You may go uh, to the shop again, but you don't know when and you can't say that you go there repeatedly. So right now you are going to the mag to the shop. And uh, you can see here that in this case, uh, the verb uh, it is uh, basically translated into English by using the present continuous. So that is another helpful point uh, to understand uh, what is the mean, uh, the uh, function of the verb it. So it basically can be translated in the present tense by using uh, the present continuous form. So right now I'm going to the shop. And uh, here is the uh, alternative uh, sentence, which is Я хожу в школу каждый день. Я хожу в школу каждый день. I go, хожу, I, я хожу, I, I go в школу, to school, каждый день, every day. So you see that uh, this every day, каждый день, uh, signals to you that it is uh, a repeated action. Uh, and um, that's why uh, we are using the verb ходить. And uh, when we translated this sentence in English, we used the um, present simple tense of the verb to go. I, uh, I go to school every day. So basically, it's in present tense is translated into English by using present continuous and ходить by using the verb to go in the present simple. And uh, that's uh, two examples for you. Now let us uh, look at other examples also. Uh, next, here you, you can see two sentences as examples where we don't use the um, time markers like сейчас right now or every day, каждый день. So it will be a little bit uh, difficult to grasp um, why we're using here either идет, идти or ходить. And let me explain why it is, what is the con context here. So, uh, you see, when um, you see the sentence, uh, like, после школы он идет домой. После школы он идет домой. После школы means after school. Он идет, he is going, uh, he is going домой, home. So, after school, he is going home. So, uh, you see that here we used the verb идти. Идти uh, meaning that it is a single uh, Occurrence, single movement, it uh, is a, uh, indicating a single place. So when we are using the verb it here, uh, we are indicating that is that it is an unusual um, occurrence that he doesn't go to doesn't go home every day. It is just like, for example, today uh, he uh, goes home after school. So. When the context is like this, we're using the verb идти, but uh, if we use the verb ходить here, uh, он ходит, so if we say после школы он ходит домой, then we will be meaning that it is a, a repeated action, that he goes home after school all the time. So it is a repeated action. So you see that uh, here uh, we, it is very, very clearly um, what the two verbs can indicate. So if you are wanting to say that he is going to school only today, after, uh, he is going home after school only today, you will be using the verb идти, он идет. But if you want to say that he goes home after school all the time, every day, like uh, he uh, doesn't go anywhere else, you will be using the verb ходить, он ходит. So that is the context here. 
And um, here we see that uh, the example with the verb ходить. После школы я хожу в бассейн. So here we can see that uh, я хожу, I go, and it means uh, that I go to the pool. After school, I go to the pool, so to the swimming pool. So uh, since the verb ходить is used here, it indicates that I go to the swimming pool after school every day or all the time. It is like my um, like um, hobby that I um, follow every day. It is my um, usual um, way of spending the time after school. So, после школы я хожу в бассейн. We can add uh, каждый день, every day. Like, после школы я хожу в бассейн каждый день. Or, uh, even if we don't have these markers, like каждый день, every day, or all the time, uh, we can see that the verb хожу in itself, ходить in itself, it means repeated action, that it is like a norm. So, it is normal for me to go to the swimming pool every day. So, that is the difference. So, идти... Uh, uh, here will be like if we use the verb it here we'll say после школы я иду в бассейн после школы я иду в бассейн like only today for example uh, I don't go there uh, all the time but today I will go to the swimming pool after school после школы я иду в бассейн so in that meaning the verb it is used but uh, the verb ходить я хожу means that I go uh, to the swimming pool after school um, all of the time every day Next look. Let's next let's look at these examples, which are like short dialogues. So the first one with the verb "ти". Куда вы идете? Where are you going? I'm going to the shop. Я иду в магазин. So you see, it can be you can like uh, picture this. Like you are uh, meeting a person that you know on the street, and you are asking that person. Uh, where are you going? Куда вы идете? Like right now, you meet this person. He is obviously going somewhere, he or she. And you ask that person where uh, he or she is going right now. Right now is like um, they meant here. They uh, applied this notion. So uh, since uh, this notion of right now is applied, of course, we're using the verb T because it ha it's happening. Uh, the um, the movement of going is, happen is happening right now. So you're meeting this person and you're asking Куда вы идете? Where are you going? And of course the person uh, has to answer using the same verb идти in the present tense form saying that uh, right now I am going to the shop. Я иду в магазин. I am going. Again, uh, the notion of right now, it is translated into English with the present um, continuous. So, я иду, the verb идти is used here based on this context of going someplace right now. And another example, uh, which is uh, another dialogue. Куда вы ходите каждое утро? Куда вы ходите каждое утро? Where do you go every morning? Каждое утро, every morning. So again, we see here every morning. Every morning, uh, of course, means uh, that it happens repeatedly. So that's why we're using the verb ходить, to go. Куда вы ходите каждое утро? And of course, it is translated with present simple. Uh, where do you go every morning? And the answer is Я хожу в спортзал. Я хожу в спортзал. I go to the gym. I go to the gym. Again, means uh, the context here is that it happens every morning. It is repeated action. And hence, we're using the verb ходить. And it is translated into English by using the verb to go in the present uh, simple. So I hope that cl that's clear. And let us look at the last example for this video. So here they are. The first is uh, вечером. Мы идем в театр. Or мы редко ходим в театр. So let us look at the difference between these two sentences. So here we see uh, the uh, time indication, which is вечером, which means tonight. Вечером мы идем в театр, театр meaning to the theater. So tonight we uh, are going, we are going, мы идем to the theater. So uh, this time indication is tonight, вечером means that the... Uh, mm, uh, the um, going to the theater will happen only tonight 
it will be a uh, one um, event, one single event, and will not be made into a um, repeated one. It will not be happening like every evening. It's only tonight, the сегодня, today, сегодня, tonight, uh, вечером, we, uh, it's only tonight that we are going to the theater. So that's why we're using the verb идти, of course, in the corresponding uh, tense form. And the uh, second uh, sentence is мы редко ходим в театр. Редко meanings rarely, so uh, we are um, we, we rarely go to the theater. So again, uh, here uh, the uh, um, time indicator uh, редко rarely indicates that the um, going to the theater happens. It is uh, happens somewhat. Uh, of uh, somewhat repeatedly, but rarely. But that does happen. Uh, so it is a repeated action. Only, uh, only uh, that it is happens rarely, but it does happen repeatedly. So here we are using the verb ходить, and uh, when translated it, translating it into English, we're using the present a uh, simple form. Мы редко ходим в театр. Uh, вечером мы идем в театр. Uh, tonight we are going to the theater, and мы редко ходим в театр. We uh, rarely go to the theater. So that is the context here. So that's it for today's lesson. I hope it was informative and not very tiring to you. So please, if you have any questions, uh, do write them in the commentary section under the video and I will be answering every single one of them. And uh, if you like this video, don't forget to support it with your likes. And of course, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. That's uh, That will help you to not miss out on my further uh, lessons on Russian language, on Russian grammar. So thank you for watching. Uh, please practice enough with these uh, verbs, t and hadid, and uh, also learn the present tense conjugation forms of them. Uh, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Goodbye.